Well, you guys got another video here for you. Why do Microsoft do this? That's the title of this video. Now, everyone has been using the control panel since 1985 when Microsoft introduced it into Windows. You can see here, this is the control panel, but what they're doing is trying to kill it off. For instance, in hardware and sound, devices and printers, if you want to go here, is now directing you to this location right here. A lot of people don't like it, and a lot of people like the old uh, devices and uh, printers method, which is when you click on it, it will take you there. Soon, all of these locations will be removed and they will be embedded into the abyss of Microsoft's deep embedded uh, menu system where you have to go for about seven clicks to get to a location. This is the problem with Windows 11. I think they're just overcomplicating it instead of just making it simple and leaving the control panel exactly where it was because a lot of people have been using it since 1985 and it's very, very useful. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we can create shortcuts to the old uh, type of locations like printers and devices. So we're going to go here and create a folder on our desktop called Tools and inside here we're going to add in some shortcuts just so you can quickly access these uh, from your computer. If you like to access certain panels very quickly, you can do it from here. You can also pin this to your start bar, or you can also pin it to your taskbar. I'll make another video on that because that's not as straightforward as it used to be either. So you need to put in this command right here, explorer.exe space shell colon, and then this um, nice big long code. I'll try and leave this in a video description for you, but basically when you type that in, you'll see it takes you straight to the old school devices and printers, which is what a lot of people like to use because it's simple and it's easy to understand. So how can we create a shortcut for this rather than keep putting that code in? I'll quickly show you how to do it and you can have shortcuts to all your favorite locations which you want to quickly gain access to. So inside our tools folder here, we're going to go new and we're going to create a shortcut right here. Inside the type of location of the item, you're going to paste in that command paste it in right here and now we can click on next and from here it's going to give us a name we're going to change the name to something that we want for instance uh, devices and printers or whatever it is that you're creating a shortcut for you will of course need to have the shell command for this and there's plenty of them out there i'll try and leave a link in the video description for a long list of them that you can use and again you can see i've got devices and printers we can even put a space in here if we wanted to, and we can leave it like that. Let's click on finish, and there we go. We've now got a shortcut inside a folder. You can put it on your desktop if you want to, uh, but again, you've now got a quick shortcut to the old location, which is very useful for a lot of people. But let's go ahead and go one step further and change the icon right here. So all you need to do is go to right click, go to properties, and from here, we can go ahead and you can see that path right there to target and we can go ahead and click on change icon. Now the change icons are not very uh, many here because it's going to Windows Explorer.exe. If you want to gain access to a lot more icons, then you can use the browse button and we can now go down to Windows and go down to System32 here. And once we find System32, we can go ahead and then click on it. So it's just down here somewhere. There it is. And inside here, what you need to do is do a search for Shell32 uh, here. Now, rather than search right here, like so, which will take you forever to try and find it, what you need to do here is go up to the little search box up on the top right-hand side, and you can start typing out the word Shell right here, and it should start to come visible. If I type S, you'll see it's now showing up, type SH, and you can see it's starting to show you. So just type Shell in here, and you should see one right there called Shell32, right here, and .dll, click on Open, and this will open up a ton of little icons that you can use for your folders. So let's go ahead and choose one that's more appropriate. For instance, you've got uh, these computer-related ones right here, or printer ones, and you've got a load of different types inside here. There's a long list of them. So choose which one is more recognizable to you. So I've gone ahead and choose this one right here. And it's a printer. And you can see that's perfectly fine. We click on this now. And now we get access to this panel right here. 
which is something that a lot of people use quite a bit. So let's go ahead and add a couple of more in here. There's a long list of them. I'm not going to spend too long, but I just wanted to make sure you could see that one because that one is not visible inside Windows anymore. And people always complain about it. So next is the power uh, options right here. A lot of people like to go in here and change these on the fly. So maybe they'll have it on a lower power consumption when they're just using their computer. And when they're gaming, they'll put it on the ultra power plan uh, or their own power plan for gaming. A lot of people do that if they're gaming. I particularly don't do it, but some people do. So let's go ahead and we're going to paste that command right here. And we're going to go next. And now you can give it a name. I'm just going to take this CPO off here and leave it as power CFG. And that's all you can type power config if you wanted to. And there we go. We are now have an icon here. Just go down to the bottom, right click on it and go properties. And again, you'll need to change the icon to something you want. Uh, let's just choose uh, an icon here. There's tons to choose from. And this is another gripe of mine is why haven't these ever been upgraded? Why haven't they rolled out a ton of new uh, icons for you to use? This is 2025 and they're still using some of these icons from way back when, when the beginning of Windows started. So I don't understand why they don't upgrade stuff like this, but they go ahead and upgrade and take away things that people use. So let's do one more here and you can then find your own ones that you want to do. I'll leave a link in the video description for a long list of them. You can see right here, we've got the network connections rather than keep going through the navigation panel and trying to find it. Microsoft have made it hard to find that location. Now it's not as easy. You have to go for about seven different clicks to get there. So all we need to do is paste in this command right here, click next, give it a name. You can call it whatever you like. You can call it network connections, network, whatever you want to call it. Just type it inside here. Let me just call this one network connections. And we will then click finish. And again, you would obviously change the icon to something more recognizable, maybe a computer with a world on it, or maybe some sort of network connection on here. And uh, I would just say use this icon right here. I wouldn't normally use an icon like this because this is for a map network drive, but you get the idea. You can use whatever icons you like. And again, once you've done that, it will take you straight to that location. And you can put all of your little uh, icons inside here. You can even create one for God mode inside here by using the God mode here. And this will give you access to all of the tools that you might need inside this location. And again, you get the general idea. You can create shortcuts for all your favorite locations and put them in this tools folder and keep it on your desktop. Or you can pin it to your taskbar, which is not an easy task because Microsoft have taken that ability away. So I'll probably make a video showing you how to do that as well. But again, you can choose an icon for the actual folder itself if you want to. You can use whatever icon you want in here, uh, a computer icon, or you can use a check mark or settings icon, whatever it is that you recognized for yourself. So I'm just going to put this check mark one here just to show you. And there we go. So when you click on it, it gives you access to this location. And again, you can pin that wherever you like. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. There's a ton of these available. I'll leave a link in the video description. Uh, again, these are shell commands and these will take you to certain locations. Uh, you can see there's a long, long list of them. And again, you can use some of the ones that Microsoft may have taken away and embedded into their menu system. If you still want to get access to the old school menus, then you can use some of these commands and create your own shortcuts to those and then pin them to wherever you like. If you're using a custom start menu, you'll be able to pin some of these to those locations as well for quick access if you wanted to. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it. I'm not going to go through all of these because there's tons of them on here. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support with your tier one, tier two or tier three. I really do appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat. The link is in the video description or I'll catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.